Hello and welcome back to the Dr. O'Donovan Medicine Made Easy YouTube channel. My name is James O'Donovan, I'm a medical doctor and I hold a PhD from the University of Oxford and today we're going to be looking at what are cauliflower ears and why do MMA fighters get them. So just as a brief introduction, this is a picture of Dustin Poirier and Conor McGregor, the two famous MMA fighters and I'm just highlighting this area here on Dustin's ear and also this area here on Conor McGregor's ear and you can see that they've got deformed ears. These are known as cauliflower ears. Now in order to understand a cauliflower ear it's first of all important to understand something called a pinnahematoma. So looking at this image here you can see that pinnahematoma is a collection of blood under the perichondrium of the ear and it usually occurs as a result of direct trauma i.e. being hit in the ear. So you can see here and I'm highlighting this with the laser pointer this person's ear is grossly deformed and they've got a collection of blood under this area. And this is why rugby players, boxers, cage fighters and wrestlers often get them. They're hit in the ear and then they get this development and build up of blood inside the pinna. Now, in a study of college wrestlers in the USA, um, those who wore head protection had a pinna hematoma incidence of 26% compared to those who didn't wear head protection where the incidence was 52%. Now, just to go into the basic physiology of this and pathophysiology, let's take a look at the anatomy of the ear. So the ear, which is also known as the pinna, so we're looking at the pinna here, is made up of skin, cartilage, musculature and perichondrium. And that supplies blood to the underlying cartilage in the ear. Now, in trauma, the blood supply of the ear is damaged and the perichondrium separates from the underlying cartilage. What happens is blood gets into this space and there's venous congestion. Now, if the blood doesn't drain, this results in necrosis or death of the healthy cartilage. This then causes a cascade of new cartilage being laid down, which fibroses, contracts, and then leads to deformity of the ear. And this is what causes cauliflower ear. Now, it's really important then that if you see a pinnahematoma in clinic, so I'm going to show you a pinnahematoma here, and you can see this image which I'm highlighting. This is a fresh pinnahematoma, someone that's just had recent trauma to the ear. It's really important that you manage it properly. Speak to a senior colleague, so an otolaryngology or ENT doctor, and they'll probably advise you to drain the pinnahematoma. And so that can be done either through incision and drainage. So making a cut in the pinna and you can see here where someone's had a cut and the, the blood has been drained through. Or you can aspirate it using a needle and syringe. But remember, the best treatment of all is prevention. So wearing things like head guards or, or not even engaging in some of these sports at all. But that's up for debate. So after draining the hematoma, what do you do? Well, you apply something called a bolster and the bolster is applied to the ear to eliminate the potential space for fluid to accumulate. And that can be seen here. 